climbing. We're going to do a speed check here. Still climbing. 950, 960 RPM. It's still climbing. We're at 160 volts. 13.1 into the battery. At 1.9 amps. And 15.5 into the battery. climbing so the way it progressively fires uh, it'll just keep climbing as long as there's no load on it obviously we're gonna put a load on it I want to see if it'll hit a thousand and at 160 13 volts at 15.6 amps. We're going to use Ohm's law to calculate the consumption of energy by this motor. So what we're going to do is calculate power. Power is watts. So we have 160.2 volts at 1.96 amps. So you take 160.2 times 1.96 amps, that gives you 313.992 watts. That is the amount of energy that's passing into the motor. Some of the energy is transferred to the charge bank. Now we calculate the recapture value and on the output 13.09 volts times 15.61 amps times that that gives us 204.334 watts that's how much watts is being recaptured into the charge side of the batteries 204.334 watts subtracted from 313.992 watts gives us a consumption of 109.658 watts. That is the consumption of this huge motor. It's like a 100 watt light bulb. That's the amount of energy that's being consumed by this motor. But we haven't calculated the horsepower yet. We are only calculating what is passing through the motor and what is potentially being recaptured on the output. 109.658 watts and we use the amps calculation we can calculate at 13 volts it's 8.43 amps at 14 volts it's 7.82 amps and at 120 volts it's only 0.91 amps this is the amount of energy that the generator needs to create to balance the system. Now we're going to talk about potential energy available for recapture. In this motor it would be 64%. The 64% is the potential energy able to be recaptured depending on the recapture device. If you're using large capacitors with low resistance you're able to capture most or, or all of that energy if you're using batteries that are highly sulfated you're not going to capture that energy at that level nowhere near that level now batteries have an internal resistance and that resistance number can be dropped by conditioning your batteries and this is what John Bedini has been trying to say all along is by conditioning the batteries you drop the resistance of the battery it's better able to take the charge and this works I, I've proven it to, at least to myself that it does work now the level that it works that's debatable but the fact remains that if you're able to capture the full 64 percent of that energy 
then this motor becomes efficient at only 100 watts of consumed energy. So if we're able to build a generator that's capable of producing 15 or 20 amps, we're over unity. That's where it is. You guys, thanks for watching. Generator's next.